Hello, Carr. Here's another YouTube video. Today, I want to talk to you about 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Uh, so, stay tuned. Um, so, basically, the question is today is you hear a lot of people, you know, say uh, when you tell them something about the Lord, you say, This is what the Lord's saying. They're saying, Well, that's what you say. That's not necessarily what the Lord says or what I don't have to believe what you say. And so a uh, short answer is, well, that's kind of true. It kind of is. See, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 says that Paul laid a foundation. And that foundation is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ himself is the chief capstone on that foundation. And no other foundation can be laid. That foundation is divine. It is God-breathed. It is the Holy Spirit himself that gave Paul the ability to lay that foundation that is the new testament that is what the apostles built was that foundation can it be altered whatsoever but me and preachers other preachers we take the pieces of the bible and we build upon that foundation and on judgment day our work will be tested with fire and whatever remains we will receive a reward for but the key note you have to realize here is, is that some of my work may be burned up. It may be. So what I'm trying to say is, is that just because a preacher pulls some scripture from the Old Testament um, and says that this is talking about, you know, this, that, and the other, if it's not in, if the apostles didn't say that, that particular prophecy was talking about Christ or something in the New Testament or something in the future, then it's him building upon the foundation. It's not the foundation itself. So that means it could be burned up. It may be inaccurate. And so we have to remember something that I'm not on the level of an apostle. The preachers at your church, the pastors at your church are not at the, on the level of the apostles. They could be wrong at times. They could be. The apostles, their words were flawless. And that is the difference between us of today and the apostles. So be free, use the scriptures, and uh, realize that just because somebody pulls some scripture from the Old Testament, about the lawless one, if the apostles didn't say that scripture, then they may not be talking about the lawless one. A lot of those Old Testament prophecies were fulfilled in that day. That's the lesson today. Thank you and God bless.